Morning, Sam. Ahoy, goblins. I ran in to Chief Brown, who said you were starting to clean up on the house this morning, so uh, I kind of figured you might need some supplies. That's... Thank you. That was very thoughtful. So listen, I, uh, I wanted to apologize for scaring you yesterday. You didn't. Your shotgun did. <laughs> yeah, uh, well, I, uh, anyway, I also came by to say I fired up the Google and I, uh, I did some reading. I didn't know the difference between all those words. I mean, I, you know, never been much of a reader, huh? But I think I get why what I said was wrong, and I'm real sorry. Oh, and before I forget, for the lady of the house. It was your mom's favorite recipe. Still make it darn near every week. Think of her every time. Uh, thanks. But we don't have a stove. Still no electricity. Oh, yeah. That fuse box is busted. <laughs> Just another thing I've been meaning to put back together around here. Where is it? I can take care of it. Oh, I don't doubt you can. But, uh, I've been kicking this thing back to life for the last 20-some years. I'll give you a hand. All right. Box is in the barn. Follow me. We'll be right behind you. That apology was something. Come on, we need lights. So be nice to the helpful man. So, um, how's school? I graduated already. Outdoor studies. Oh, outdoor studies, huh? Well, it's a good thing I came along when I did. You know, I built this here barn for your mama. You really helped her out, huh? Oh, you know, just a few chores here and there as... I was glad to help. Your mother, she... No. I can never bring myself to leave her high and dry. Anyways, let me find that darn key. Wait. Wait, Sam. You have more of our keys? Yeah. The one for the barn's called a railroad key. See, it's got this special tip that you can... Fascinating. I'll take that off your hands now. Well, I, uh... Figured I might still need to do some maintenance, so, uh... Nope. We're good. Thank you. Uh, fair warning. Door's a bit temperamental. Haven't you been taking care of this place? You didn't oil the doors? What? You think I just hang out here all day or something? Here, son. Give me a try. Good. Okay, when you twist it as far as you can to the left, give it a nice little jerk. <clears throat> Damn it. No oh, shit. Well, at least the door is open now. <laughs> yeah. Uh... Well, that's easy enough to fix. Now, that fuse box. Oh, no, no, no. You and you are going to clean up your mess. I'll take care of the fuse box. But I didn't do it. I'm not asking. Go on. Oh. 
All right, fuses go into plugs. Should be easy enough. All right, let's take a look. Look at what? The whole jam needs to be replaced. Nah, just need to sand that part down. You could refinish the whole thing, but <laughs> that's a lot of work for an old door. Pass me that handle. Yeah, sure. Thank you. Oh, shit. Oh. What happened? You okay? Uh, yeah, it's just, uh, just a bum knee. I uh, wrecked it playing ball. Ball? Football? In college? High school. Best damn fullback around. Well, until, until I got hurt. Damn, that's rough. Let's try this one. Hmm. Yeah, we'll see if it'll be working just fine. Problem must be the latch. No shit. It's covered in rust. Yeah, nothing a little salt and lime can't fix. Salt and lime? It's a door latch, not a bottle of cheap tequila. <laughs> mm. Sure could go for a margarita right about now. A margarita? Really? Hey, sometimes old Sam likes to feel fancy. Hmm, seems good. Everything okay? You, uh, you two look like you got this all in hand, so, um. do with this wreck? Take it apart and sell the scrap? It's been rotting in here for a decade. I don't think there's anything salvageable. I'll be the judge of that. Huh, look at this. I think this is where she made all our toys. Toilet paper tubes, rope, cardboard. I wonder what she planned to make that. Maybe a car? Ooh, or a tank. She was so crafty. And she could draw and write and take pictures. She could have been an artist instead of just locking herself up out here. Hey there, little buddy. If we end up living together, you should know my house has a no spiders rule. Well, in my house, we don't kill them. Ugh. You can take them outside then. I wonder why Sam got so upset. Oh, he probably forgot he was all out of bourbon. <sighs> well, something about it really got to him. I don't think any of us are exactly happy to see that gun rack. Uh, remind me to take it down later. Oh man, I'm gonna put together the sweetest toolbox ever. Preda rep. What's that? Wolf pee. Ew, what? Do not 
spill it on your shoes. I sense a story. Well, if by story you mean using it at fireweed to get rid of some rats, and then spilling it on my only pair of shoes, then yes. <laughs> hey, it was not funny. Sure thing, B-boy. Allison, do you know who this is? What did you find? Do you know who that is? Uh, yeah. That's Carol, Eddie's mom. I've seen other pictures of her, but never this one. Man, look at Brown. And Marianne. She looks really happy. Can I? Careful, the glass is Ow! broken. Are you okay? It stings. Let's go see Mom. But she'll get mad. We weren't even supposed to be here. I feel something strong. It's making my teeth tingle. Over here. Come on, it's gonna get infected. I, I don't want to. She said not to disturb her and Eddie. Where are you going? Things were different when she was around. We were family, Eddie. How could you do this to me? Shh. Look. I had to make that call. What were they talking about? I can't figure out what's going on. I don't know, but I remember that whatever Eddie had to do, whatever that call was about, it was tearing him up. Tearing him up? He was being a total cop, and Marianne got pissed and threw him out. Here, I'm gonna show you what I remember. Over here, Allison. I had to make that call. I was just following the law. Oh yeah? And this little visit right here? What would the law say about this, huh? Look, I didn't have to come out here, but I did. You're a goddamn hypocrite. Get out of here! Marianne. <sighs> I said get out! Out! What? She didn't throw the picture at him. You sure about that? He was being a complete dick. How can you be sure? We were eavesdropping. We could barely see a thing. What do you think happened then? Look, I had to make that call. I was following procedure, what I'm legally required to do. Then why are you here? Pretty sure this isn't procedure. I wanted you to hear it from me. Please leave. Mary Ann, I'm sorry. Please just go. How do we keep remembering the same thing so differently? It was a long time ago, and, well, memory's a tricky thing. Wait, when did that happen? I, I'm not sure. I think it was the exact same day she attacked you. That's what I thought. But Uncle Eddie said he hadn't seen Marianne for weeks. Yeah, that was bullshit. And what was all that about following the law? What was he doing here exactly? He must have had his reasons for not telling us. Look, I know he took care of you, but that doesn't make him incapable of lying. I can't see him being that cold with Marianne, even if he was being a cop. I mean, I can, but who knows? 
I guess memory's a tricky thing, huh? So, we agree. Brown came out here and bullied Marianne the same day she attacked us. And then lied about it. Now what? You go and get a straight answer from him. Right now? Yes. I'll go get my car keys. But what will these mountains of trash do without us? Fuck the trash. <laughs> 